Welcome to Cruise Time with Rich and Jess. Today we're talking about Britain's favourite cruise line and who are they? We're talking about P&O Cruises. Holidays as varied as you. That So much is included in the price of a P&O Cruises holiday. Let's compare a P&O Cruises holiday for going for a night out in London for example. Indeed. So what's included with a P&O Cruises holiday? Well, if you book the P&O Select Fair, yes. then you could have your transport included. That's coach transport from a lot of places around the UK. I think there's over 40 places that you can go from, actually. Oh, wow. Yep. Or if you don't want to go by coach, you can always drive to the port and park your car at the port. Absolutely right. Now, port parking costs around about £10 per car per night. So at least. You're saving money there, aren't you? Absolutely, yep. And then, of course, you get on board the ship. Yes. And what's included when you're on board? Okay, uh, well, let's start with the food. I mean, where better place to start than the food? You have full board dining, so you've got your buffet dining, you have your main restaurants. So once we've eaten, <laughs> what else is included? So of an evening, of course, there's all, you know, you could work your way around the plethora of bars, or you could visit the theatre to take in a show. Absolutely. The theatre show, that's included in the price of your cruise holiday. Mm -hmm. And they are the standard of a West End show. So why wouldn't you go along and see it whilst you're on board? And if we were going to a city centre, you could be looking at 50, 60 pounds. At ticket, least. At least. At least. Um, what else do you get in there, Rich? So, of course, you get the wonderful entertainment on board like we included, yes. but then you get the pools on board. Mm -hmm. The use of the swimming pools, the saunas, the gyms, the jacuzzis, yep. all I mean, included. How much is a hotel in London with a swimming pool? Oh, three figures and the rest. Crazy. Um, okay, so you've been to the theatre show, you've had your dinner, uh, you want to go out dancing. But you don't just want a regular night of dancing. Oh, no, you want a silent disco. Ooh. I mean, that's going to set you back about 50 quid each in London. I think so. That's included with Pinot Cruises. It's included. Um, in the morning, you're going to want to work just off that you, dinner. Just before you start in the morning, of course, you need to get home of an evening. Yes. Of course, when you're on board a Pinot Cruises ship, you can just stumble back to your stateroom. I mean, there's an Uber, right? There's no Uber on the ship. Oh. But, funny you should say that, if you're in London, you want an Uber. Think how much that's going to cost you. Exactly right. Now... Back to the morning and breakfast. Back to the morning and breakfast. Breakfast is included. Yes, bed and breakfast. Um, and let's not forget, you might want to have a quick workout before piling on those calories yet again. And the gym is included. It is included. And there's personal trainers there as well. If you're not sure what equipment to use, they can help you. Absolutely. So we've compared the value of a P&O Cruises holiday to a night out or several nights out in London. Um, but what else makes P&O Cruises Holiday such great value, Rich? Well, for starters, you've got all your gratuities and tips. They're all taken care of in your cruise fare. So you don't need to worry about having got to tip this person or that person. No dipping into your purse for some change at the end of the night. That's all included as well. Mm -hmm. Everything on board when you're on board, by the way, is all priced in pounds sterling as well. So you know where you're up to and you don't need to pay as you go. Everything that's put on your cruise card. It's yep. like a tab that you have running. And then when you go to the bars of an evening, you, the drinks you do have to pay for, but they're really affordable. They're like what you pay back in your city back home. Mm-hmm. That's good. So yes. obviously you can sail from Southampton. That's P&O Cruises uh, home port in the UK. Yes. Got lots of choices from Southampton. Mm -hmm. But fly cruise. I yes. always like the idea of a fly cruise. Mm -hmm. It's really good because you can fly from a choice of airports throughout the UK. So many. For many of P&O Cruises uh, holidays. And then your holiday begins, you know, you arrive at the airport, you check in, you fly out to the destination, you're on board, and then your holiday begins. So, where can you fly to on a P&O Cruises fly cruise holiday? Well, in the winter, we have the Canary Islands. The Garden Islands. Absolutely. Mm. On board Azura and sailing round trip from Tenerife, you'll get to go to the likes of Lanzarote, Gran Canaria, Fuerteventura, and maybe some of the smaller ones as well. Um, Bit of winter sun. Absolutely. Can you imagine actually if you tried to do that, if some of those tick box canary islands, you tried to do it yourself? It would cost you a fortune for a start. Exactly. All you need to do is when you get on board the ship, you unpack once and it ship takes you to all these beautiful ports. Absolutely. Want it a little bit warmer than the Canary Islands? Go on then. Caribbean! Oh! Yeah. So fly out to Bridgetown, Barbados, and you've got 14 nights. Yeah. Yeah, you will definitely have overnight in Barbados at either the start or the end of your cruise, which is fantastic. You get to go to the likes of St. Lucia, Antigua, uh, Dominica. Oh, there's some beautiful, beautiful island destinations on that. I could just be there right now. I know. Pass me the coconut cocktails. Oh, sounds good to me. Yeah. But what about the summer months? Where can we go to? We can go to the Mediterranean right out Ooh, to the heart of the action. Absolutely. And for that, you fly to Valletta, Malta. 
Now, we have mentioned that you can go from a variety of airports with P&O cruises. Um, as with most cruise lines, the main airports that you're going to get for the majority of cruises are going to be London and Manchester and Glasgow. But there are still regional departures available for a select amount of voyages. In fact, did you know you can get to the Caribbean with flights from Bournemouth? Wow. I know, Bournemouth, Belfast, Birmingham, Bristol, Cardiff, East Midlands, Edinburgh and Newcastle. That is an impressive list, Jess. I know, thank you. There's so much choice and that's what makes a cruise holiday so accessible yes, to everyone, isn't it? Absolutely. And like we said, you get directly to the heart of your, your destination straight away, straight off the aircraft into the sunshine. So that was a fly cruise, but of course you can always sail from Southampton. Yep. We've got Arvia that's sailing from Southampton to the Mediterranean, visiting some amazing ports of call. That's right. On board the brand new ship, you could get to uh, Mallorca, Florence, Barcelona, without even setting foot on an aircraft. Do you know what? Sounds good to me. So if you're looking to take your first Pino Cruises holiday experience, maybe you're a seasoned cruiser, or maybe you're looking to get your 10th of the year booked, then get in touch with us today with our specialists and we can help you with your next Pino Cruises holiday. That's right. Get yourself booked on Britain's favourite cruise line and we will see you next time. Bye for now. Bye.